Hey everyone, it's Angry Turtle and in this video I want to show you how to get an amazing set to get your spell criticals really high. Of course, this spell critical includes my stone, the Mundus stone and, and passive from some of my skills, but mostly it is from the sets. My sets are not yet maxed out, a lot of stuff need upgrades, but without further ado, what this set is. The easiest to get and first to farm, it will be Mother's Sorrow pieces. And from the Mother's Sorrow, I have boots, I have waist, legs, hands, and one jewelry piece. And it's actually important to have it exactly like that and don't swap anything to a different composition for the optimal result. And main reason for that is that our next set is set of Medusa. And this is heavy set only, therefore we only want our chest from armor pieces to be from Medusa set. And other pieces, we want to be jewelry, one ring, one necklace, and both weapons. As weapon count as two pieces, but only the equipped one, therefore I need two of the same type in order to keep my set bonuses when I swap from my first bar to my secondary bar. And as you can see, not only Medusa set provides me with awesome critical chance, but as well gives me minor force, increasing critical damage by 10%. It's awesome, especially solo. For comparison, the Mother Zero set unfortunately does not have any special bonus effect with five items, but it does offer really good critical chance improvement with all five items, therefore, it is perfect set and relatively easy to farm. And finally, the last set, Ice Heart set. And this is, you can say, the hardest to get because you need to get Undaunted Keys, but we'll go over it as well. But take a look what this set does. One item gives you nice critical chance boost and two items. That's a perfect synergy with already really high crit chance amazing solo. When you deal critical damage, you have 20% chance to gain a damage shield that absorbs a lot of damage. It's boosted by my uh, perks from CP points, but normally it's 5k damage absorption for 6 seconds and it can be refreshed every 6 seconds. And this shield will be activated by your area of effect spells. Therefore, the 20% chance to activate is actually really good as you can hit multiple enemies at once and easily activate this shield. Like I have it up almost every 6 to 7 seconds when in combat. Now how to get all those pieces? Let's start from Mother's Sorrow. For that piece you will need to go into the Shan area, it's in here on the map. And to start getting pieces Whatever you do, you have a chance to get pieces on this map, therefore you can do some questing if you want, you can kill world bosses, you can do those small dungeons that usually have shards in them if you want to collect those shards. But the best way of obtaining those pieces is this public dungeon. Inside you will find like five bosses and because it's a public dungeon, there will be other people fighting them as those bosses are quite hard, especially if you are a beginner, but very important here, you just need to do a little bit damage to those bosses, you can just attach yourself to whoever else is farming those bosses and they respond quite frequently, therefore you will get your pieces really quickly. I'm not sure if jewelry can drop from those bosses, therefore if it can't, you will be just looking around for dolmens and wherever there is a fight at dolmen site, you will go there and do this fight super easy, usually plenty of people doing those fights and after that you have a chest with rewards and you can find jewelry in there. Therefore this is the way you will collect those pieces. And maybe before we go to another set, how to get it in the right trades. As you can see I have those pieces with divines and then enchanted with maximum magicka 
and all of them like that they will have even better effect when i upgrade those pieces from purple to gold but i don't have resources at this moment it's expensive stuff but you see that you want divines you want it light and that combination getting it from random drop is rare therefore the workaround for this you go into your collections then the last tab set items Ebon heart packed the shan area and you can see the shan area is dropping three sets mother's sorrow night mother's embrace and plague doctor we don't care about those two but what's important look at the stone cost transmute stones if you collect all the pieces at the old collection pick them up and bind to your character that's important if you go to your inventory wherever you pick a new item it will appear in your inventory you just right click on new item and choose bind that's how new items are going into your sticker book those are actually different items from the dungeon that I just did, but the idea is the same. You just click on bind and it's being added to your sticker book. Collections otherwise. When you collect them all, you then can craft for just 25 stones. And when you craft it, you can choose whatever trait you want that you already researched. Therefore, another important thing is wherever you find pieces that are divine you don't sell them you don't scrap them you use them to research the divine trait and if you don't have it researched yet don't panic just work on that and start collecting those stones as i even ran out crafting my perfect set and i was collecting stones for like a month and if you don't know where you are getting those stones it's a slow process by using dungeon finder and doing random normal dungeon you are getting undaunted exploration supplies and once per day you are getting a bigger supplies once per day you will get 10 stones inside those supplies then you want to do this dungeon finder daily to get those stones for later crafting now you know how to farm your first set let's go over your second set and second set is your medusa set and here it's rather simple but you can find it tricky to farm therefore i will give you some tips and tricks we are going back to the dungeon finder but this time you will need to choose a specific dungeon and dungeon you are looking for is arx corinium and this dungeon on normal is not super difficult then after you choose that and you join the queue let's say you are a damage dealer you will be waiting forever you will never find it. Therefore, no matter what your build is, you just swap the role to either healer or the tank. Preferably healer, as no one will notice on normal that you are not healing. If you cannot find as a healer, then you can try tank, but some people can complain that you are not tanking if you are a damage dealer. Although, if you get any higher level players, they can basically solo it no on normal. And normal is good enough for you to collect those pieces for your sticker book. And unfortunately, it will take you some time to collect them all. As if we go into our sticker book, go under dungeons and open the first dungeon. You can see from this dungeon, there is Celestrix set, Lamia's Song set, and Medusa set, and Undaunted Infiltrator set. And as you can probably notice at this point, I gave up before I completed all the pieces. As I was like, I have enough of running that, even though I was speed running it. If you want to see how to speed run this dungeon to keep farming this stuff a little bit faster, I will drop a link here to my live stream when I was like speed running this for two hours straight. And if you are good with speed running, it's about five minutes per run on this dungeon and every five minutes you will be getting something new to your sticker book basically the armor pieces this will be really fast but after that when you need the jewelry and weapons you will be getting on average only one new weapon or jewelry per run that's why you need so many runs 
several hours. But that's the only way to get this set. And of course, when you have all pieces, you can recraft it. But my tip early, if you are missing gear, just use whatever will drop and fit on the spots and craft later exactly what you need. And lastly, the Ice Heart set. And this set is the most tricky one because you need to run the dungeon and on top of that you need to farm Undaunted Keys. And let's start how you get the keys. First, on your map, if you didn't yet, you need to locate this symbol. That's Undaunted Enclave and at this moment I'm showing you Enclave inside Elden Root and Elden Root is in Grachtwood and Grachtwood can be found in here on the map. If you are looking for it, it's here, the huge tree and this is Undaunted Guild in this place. Undaunted Guild is around other big cities as well, but that's one of the spots you can find it. And then you have those Pledge Masters. Redbird Pledge Master will be selling stuff you need. If you open the Pledge Master store, you can see there are coffers for five or one keys. Iceheart set can be found inside Frigid Crucible coffer. But what I did, I was buying the one key coffers, even though there is slightly lower chance you will get Iceheart, but overall you will get five times more pieces than going for this Frigid Crucible coffer. And unfortunately, Undaunted Keys you will farm very slowly. What you need to do, all those masters will give you dailies. And those dailies are about running specific dungeons. But you will need to do it. It's very slow, but eventually you will get this set. And the helmet, of course you will need helmet. That's again group and activity finder. And you will need to run Dire Frost Keep. The problem here is that from the normal dungeon there is like really really low chance to drop it therefore you will need to be able to run dire frost keep on veteran therefore not in here you will need to scroll down first you need to be high enough level and then be able to run it on veteran or be lucky enough that game will match you with a team that can basically run it for you and you just Reload on it, but I do not recommend it. I do recommend doing it if you can actually contribute. That's why I do recommend to go for this final monster set last, as you will already have some power from previous sets, and then you go for the final pieces. And that will conclude all the info you need to have in order to farm this amazing set. Just don't forget what we are aiming for. For the chest, you want heavy piece of the Medusa set, there are only heavy pieces, therefore any chest from Medusa set will be heavy, then either your head or your shoulders, you want medium to get the bonus from the guild skill that you will find under guild, undaunted, undaunted passive, the second one, undaunted metal, increase your max health, stamina and magicka 1% per, per type of armor and it max out 3% at rank 1, after I will be able to upgrade it, it will be 6%. It is really good, and on top of that, if you have a heavy chest, that's the piece of armor that provides a lot of armor. And this is helpful, especially if you are a squishy DPS dealer, a little bit extra armor. And now don't forget, for the hands, legs, feet and waist, you want Mother Sorrow light pieces of armor. Then for the jewelry, you want two pieces of the Medusa set. It doesn't even matter which two pieces of the jewelry will be Medusa. And one piece from the Mother Sorrow set. And after that, both weapons from Medusa set. And that will conclude this quick guide. I hope it will be helpful for you how to get into farming all those pieces and how to get amazing spell critical chance. I'm currently at 73%. It will be improved slightly, then I will go over 75%. And now, this will be everything for this video. Thank you a lot for watching, and see you all in the next one.